is have a 26 by 16 facing this way and a 26 by 16 facing this way with a spacer in the middle to run 44 boggers here. Day two. One of the first ones that I wanted to show you guys today was this uh, all blue and polished faceplate poppies kit that we have in the TIS booth. One of my favorite colored lift kits that's out here. It's this really nice like royal royal blue color. Absolutely beautiful TIS. You got the brush finish with the blue accent pieces. All white fifth gen with the I want to say this one's yeah 16 to 20 inch fifth gen poppies kit got that beautiful blue cradle with the polished accent pieces or brush finish accent pieces carbon coilovers in the front color match blue as well got the beautiful poppies mounts up top front and rear it's an absolutely beautiful kit beautiful truck love the little small accent piece in the uh on the face plates it's got that really nice kind of just sparkle to it I'm a, I'm a big fan of these poppies kids you guys know that front and four link front and rear four link beautiful blue color it's missing the sway bar sway bar face plates on the front which i'm not sure why got those really nice dual reservoir carbon uh steering stabilizers up front as well that front that front truss and rear truss is absolutely beautiful too tis wheels with the brush finished absolute beautiful accent to the truck white blue and silver let me know what you guys think in the comments i've been wanting to come out here and see this truck all week and i finally decided that today was the day so let me know what you think Been here for two days and I haven't walked this way yet, so let's see what's going on on this side of the South Hall. Got a really big burnout. There's like three or four burnout pits out here, so there's always something to go see, always some kind of cool car doing donuts or burnout somewhere. All the smoke everywhere. It's getting it's getting wild this morning already. JW guy? Are you that bread gang guy? No. No? Well, no. Not the my, name, guy. my name's Jeff. <laughs> my name's Jeff. What's up, buddy? What's up? Man? Good to see you. Nice to see you. From Augusta to Vegas. That's right. Time change f***ing you up or no? Yeah. It hit me pretty hard the first two days. Killing me. I'm just happy to see you. That's all. That smiling face. Yeah, I've been getting tired at like 7 o'clock at night. You and me both. <laughs> so we're back at the Fusion booth today. If you guys haven't seen the video from yesterday, make sure you guys go check it out. McGoy's has a 2024 Denali on some KG1s and Furies in the Fusion booth today. Super beautiful black truck. Just absolutely clean. And like I said, if you guys haven't seen the video from yesterday, make sure you guys go check it out. But there's a different one in the booth that I really wanted to see with a McGoy's kit on it today that should be sitting right down here. Or they told me that that it was in the booth. Yeah, I see it down here. If you if you don't know this guy, you're living under a rock because he's killing YouTube right now and he's got the cleanest trucks at every show. I don't know how you keep white trucks clean Man, so much. I really I don't. I paid more for the detail than I paid for the truck. That has to be, has yeah, to be. It's because pretty close. every time that I see any of your vehicles at the show, it's the cleanest mm -hmm. fucking thing out there. Man, we detail them at so, the shop, we detail them on the trailer, and then we detail them when we get there. I'm a, I'm a fan, uh, obviously, so I just want to make sure to show some love to you. I'm just Appreciate glad I got you. to see you. I know you're busy. I don't want to take too much of your time. Nah, we good, but we you just, we just filming today. You man. build clean ass stuff, and I just I want to show some love to you. So appreciate you. Man. Always a good, always a pleasure seeing you. Is that big perp? Is that big perp? Big worm. <laughs> what do y'all think of the pink fifth gen? All pink, powder coated axles, 30 by 16, first gen Barbie custom two toned wheels. Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi's got a lot of trucks of wheels out here. Shout out to Fittipaldi. First gen Barbie, all pink, all color matched pink, solid pink axles, pink everything. Let me know what you guys think. It's 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 bright to say the least. Carbon shocks all the way around, that's always a plus. Definitely different. Alpha Rex lights in it. Hell yeah, shout out Danny from Alpha Rex. I actually kind of like it. Real sparkly pink. It, it looks good. Let me know what you guys think below.
get a ride in the bucket, Gary. Shout out to Jason, Andy, Nick, Frank, Eric, the whole team over there at Fury for allowing me to be on the Tread Talk podcast. PJ is actually over there doing his episode now, so you guys need to stay tuned. I don't know where they're going to release these at. I'm assuming on YouTube, and uh, I'm assuming they'll post these on YouTube. So y'all make sure to go stay tuned. Shout out to the whole Fury team for allowing me to be on the podcast. And uh, like I said, Fury's PJ's over here doing his episode now, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Look, we got Chris the Wilder out here. What's uh, I always get your Instagram mixed up. Laramie Long Dong. Laramie Long Dong. I, I always think of Ling Long. Ling Long. Ling Long tires. Ling Long. Long Dong on Instagram. Is <laughs> Andy. Yes. I know that you're busy. I'm sorry. It's all good. Thank you. Hell for having good, me on dude. the podcast. When is it? When do you think they'll? A couple weeks? A month? Something like Just that. Gotta wait and find out, bro. Stay tuned. Stay Fury. Tuned. Fury's the goat. Dude. I'm getting some Furies. He's the goat, man. At some point. <laughs> Be safe tonight, all right? Thank you for everything. DJ, what you doing Alex today, here, buddy? bro. So basically, Alex has been here for two weeks now, basically. I by himself. flew in last Friday, and it is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes. Yeah, it it's Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. So I've been here for almost a week now. And, and another super controversial thing, bro. We're here when it's closed, bro. We're actually, yeah, so we're, we're at the show nice after. Lap. It's about it's about 5.15, and we were just doing podcasts and stuff, and I look up, and it's like <laughs> empty Yo, in here now. Why is that guy laughing at us? Because we're holding cameras? To, I had to ask Andy what time the show closes, and it closed at 5, apparently. So Let me hop on. Let me hop on that way. We're going to. All right. Yo, so no. basically. That, that white bow tie. All right, I'm hopping on the channel real quick. Bro, shout out to all you guys who showed mad love at the Smoky Mountain show. Super fun. Dude, I read all the comments and uh, dude, I hope you guys like when we do like the collab walkthroughs. I think it's fire. Okay, also, we're gonna have to do that today. Well, we're gonna go look at a truck right now. So I haven't seen Hunter's truck yet. So. Oh, you haven't so seen let's Hunter's go. truck? Yeah, yeah we yeah, gotta do it. Are on backwards. Nah, okay. Just letting you know before you comment. I'm, thumb, I'm thumbnailing it for this video. So let's go look at Hunter's truck so we can. Yes. We'll do the walkthrough right. together. Thumbnail. We gotta find Manny first though. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll run you guys. Look through. out this window. Guys. And we still got Ling Long Long Dong with us too. Yeah, Ling Long Long Dong. Ling Long Long Dong. It's always so weird when I travel somewhere because I always travel. 
travel with Manny, and I've been here for five days now, and I haven't seen him here yet. Well, I'm Adrian so I'm, ex Kedem. I'm excited to see Manny because I always Bro, travel with he's him. He's right there, Man Man Manuel. Manuel. Manuel, right here, in the flesh. In the flesh. So we're gonna have to find them. Let's use our manual senses. Oh look, they're over here looking at this. Maybe chair. by the Poppy's Garage kit. I don't know. So there's two puppy trucks that are pink here. Kind of fire. Actually, the blue fifth gen in the TIS booth, fire. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fire. Yes. Here we Bottom, go. Right where he should be. At the Poppy's Garage truck at, at in the, the North truck. Hall. We found him. We found him. What is he looking at, man? In the flesh. In the flesh. What's up? I've been here for a whole week and I haven't seen you. What's up? DJ Travis. Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alex Travis. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think every day I'm finding a new Poppy's kit at the show. I didn't know this one was over here. I had no idea. This is, wow. Damn, I love that. Black and pink. Ten, ten lug Fittipaldi's with the Predator tires. Ten to twelve inch poppies. Four link rear, rear track bar. I'm telling you. Bro, they're not ten lugs. What is this? It's a ten, it's a ten <laughs> lug cap though. Come on now. No, there's holes all the way through it. What is I'm just this? saying. I'm Tell just saying. Your homies can come over. Hey, carbon coilovers with the poppies. Brackets up top. Frame plates all the way around. Sway bar upgrade. That cross or the cradle in the center. That color is beautiful. Damn, I like that. Ooh. I'm getting load-in day vibes right now. The best time to be at the show is after 5 o'clock, from what I can tell, because there's nobody out here, and I don't think they're going to kick anybody out. So this was the – there's way too much going on, way too many people up here yesterday, and they're doing burnouts, like, right behind us. So you can get the 2024 on the McGoy's kit over here. That one's in the video yesterday. This is Lacey Blair's new Elevate F250 with the – neon orange wheels on it which is pretty cool acw from uh, atlanta did the wrap on that one which is freaking cool and uh the truck of the day with the owner sitting over here already the one we came to see hello what up, pop up on you like that uh oh what up, man? What you doing? I swear, I swear I'm seeing you every you, everywhere right now. Hey, bro, we're Mitch. Bro, literally Mitch. Dude, bro. Dude, we got everybody here, bro. Only reason I came over here is to see Hunter's new truck because I didn't get to see it last night. This is the new 20-inch Aluma Duty Poppies kit. The cradle's massive. Absolutely massive. But I love it. The red color's beautiful. You guys know red's my favorite color. Got four link front, four link reel, rear, cradle front, cradle rear, carbon coilovers all the way around, frame plates, sway bar upgrade, missing a stabilizer, yes I know. But the main thing to see on this truck is it's got 26 by 16 boggers in the back, which is absolutely absurd. Let me see if I can get to the other side so y'all can see it. I can't see the wheel on this side. I'm too I'm too fat to squeeze through there. It's dad bod season. Dad bod season. All right, man. Give me the rundown. What do we got here? I know we got a 20 inch poppy's kit. 20 inch poppy's kit, agreed. Just revealed different seat in my absolutely man. Well, let's hop in on the setup real quick. Setup. All right. 26, 16, Amani, two piece Amani's. Two piece Amani forge wheels that are custom and Basically, what we're claiming to be, uh, what we're claiming to be the first ever to do, is have a 26 by 16 facing this way and a 26 by 16 facing this way with a spacer in the middle to run 44 boggers here. And this is a 44 1950 bogger. And and you're running two. Two of them. Two of them. So basically, what what people have said is this not the first two-piece wheel. That is true. The thing that we're claiming to be first ever to do is run a two-piece. The reason it's a two-piece is because if you had a 26 by 16 facing this way and it started all the way over here, yeah. and then the same started all the way over here, there'd be way too much space to yeah. come up for. So we had to get a custom face that starts a little bit over here and basically have a little kicker like this, right? That's where the wheel starts. Same over here, and then the spacer's in the middle, which I'll send Alex a clip that you can pop up and basically that's going to go right in between and that's what's going to allow you to run 44 boggers on each side and you know obviously we, under we understand the wheels one of the wheels is backwards what do you mean one of the or one of the tires is backwards what do you mean 
No, oh. it's for when we're going in reverse in the mud. We already have a head start. <laughs> we need That's that That's what traction. nobody understands. If you get stuck, your bogger is going to have the trouble backing out. Now all we've done is added a helper bogger to back out of the mud. All I'm saying, there's a lot of people out here that are missing stuff on their trucks. No. But why, are we, why are we the only one that honestly, get, you know the, what I mean? The best thing anybody can ever done is mount these wheels backwards. I'm going to start mounting all my wheels backwards. Everybody talks about it. I love it. it. I love it. 2616. Two piece Amani boggers with the floating, so gotta have the floating center caps. Face. It's absolutely beautiful. Face. One face is out, negative offset. Two piece negative, or one positive offset inside. Carbon coilovers all the way around. First in the country, first in the world. Dual boggers in the back. I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like that. And going down the road, I'm gonna put some clips of it that we had driving around. Going down the road, this is the widest thing that I've ever seen going down the road. It's like whistling diesel style stuff. It doesn't even seem like it should be real. And it's definitely probably not street legal, but it's the most absurd thing that I've ever seen on a truck. I mean, just look how wide that is. You have a whole bogger in the back sticking out. That whole entirety of that 1950, 44, is sticking out on the back. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, and I absolutely love it. Shout out to Hunter, shout out to Poppies, Amani for you know diving into this and making the wheels for us. And then obviously you guys know the goaded tire that the bogger is. I mean, it's just, everybody loves boggers. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. 26 by 16 boggers, two piece wheels. Is it dangerous? Maybe. But is it shitting on them? Absolutely. What you got to say? Let's get this bread. Good bread. SEMA day. Technically SEMA day too. I've been here since Friday. My days are like running together right now, but I'm having the time of my life. Vegas is kicking my ass. Time change is still killing me, but we got, what, today's Wednesday, right? Is today Wednesday? Yeah. Today's Wednesday. We got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We got three days left, technically, in Vegas. So we got to live it the fuck up. It's going to be Something fucking changed. fun, man. We got to live it up. I got to get you all the computer editing, man. I got to live a little. I've posted like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you feel about the That's a perfect the stance. That's a perfect stance. It's actually cranked down three inches. And it can actually go way higher. Dude, that is the perfect stance. That's I really like no, this truck. Bro, this is a he went that way. perfectly pleasing, athletically pleasing truck. Dude, this, that's this, as sick as it gets, bro. To be parked right in front of the South Hall, too, this is that's as good as it gets. Bro, that's nuts, bro. That's a good spot. That is a oh wicked God. kit, bro. That is a wicked kit for a 23, bro. And fully bolt on. Ain't no way all three of us are. I'll, I'll get in there like a sandwich. Hey, ain't, on, ain't no way all three of us are fitting back here. Come on, Alex. There's no way that we're getting picked up in a limo right now. <laughs> There's no way. Sammy just tried to fit all of us inside of one Escalade and then a, a limo picks up. There is no trying. We got a whole squad together tonight. What? Uh, missing last. We're missing last. Yeah, we're missing last. Wow. Missing last. 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 Missing last.